In light of recent events in the crypto industry, an important question has been raised. Can users really trust custodial institutions like crypto exchanges with the safety of their assets? The majority of cryptocurrency investors had always entrusted them with their assets without pushing overly hard for transparency or performing verification to ensure that reserves were actually being maintained. After the FTX collapse, however, this implicit trust has been shattered. In response, the call for proof of reserves has resurfaced. In this video, you're gonna find out what it is, how it works, and what it will mean for crypto exchanges, and most importantly, for you. So stick till the end of the video to find out the simplest way to track an exchange's proof of reserves. Ideally, any exchange user should be able to withdraw their funds at any time, right? Proof of reserves is a cryptographic method that demonstrates an exchange's or institution's ability to honor withdrawals from its platform at all times by providing a way of keeping tabs on customer funds. So broadly, it consists of two parts. Assets, which are represented by a pool of tokens held within a set of exchange addresses and liabilities, which would be a current record of customers' deposits. These two should be equal at all times since custodial financial institutions like centralized exchanges are not supposed to be utilizing customers' funds for other purposes. To verify that an exchange is solvent via a proof of reserve audit, a Merkle tree is used to aggregate the total of all customer balances without exposing any private information. Okay, so Merkle trees are pretty technical stuff, but in simple terms, they have a Merkle root, which is the single point of connection for the data branches and ensures that the right information is stored in each of them. Therefore, the information contained in each wallet address containing user assets can be aggregated to form one Merkle root, which represents the sum of all user deposits. They also provide a way for users to verify that specific assets tied to their own accounts are actually included in the audit. On top of that, Merkle trees ensure that data stored in the branches and leaves cannot be manipulated without being easily detected. However, there are limits even to this system. Since the Merkle tree only matches the snapshot at that specific point in time, it will require a newly updated Merkle tree as the reserve balance changes. On top of that, it is also difficult to account for any off-chain liabilities. That said, many current attestations of reserves by exchanges only include assets, but not liabilities, or have not been conducted with auditor oversight. For many of these exchanges, proper accounting is set to be in the works, so watch out for those in the coming weeks. Only a few exchanges, such as Kraken, Gate.io, and OKX, have included liabilities for all or some assets in their PORs so far. Now that you have a general idea of how it works, let's find out what implementing proof of reserves in custodial institutions will mean for you. So first, POR allows users to easily conduct the bare minimum due diligence on custodial platforms by providing a means to verify custody of assets. The primary goal of proof of reserves is to enable customers and third parties to verify the assets held by institutions and their corresponding liabilities. Unlike the current opaque system, it allows investors to get a better view of how their funds are handled over time and demand clarity for each action taken by their custodian. Doing this will reduce the chances of investors losing their assets to unfortunate events, resulting from poor management of users' funds by a custodial institution. And in the event that they feel that the platform's custody practices have become too risky over time, they can modify or withdraw their investments to minimize losses. POR is just as important from a custodial institution's point of view. 
For one, it provides a means to regain and maintain a user's trust. Investors are fast losing trust in custodial institutions due to the shadiness discovered in recent events. Therefore, it is in a reputable institution's own best interest to try to regain this lost trust by developing good proof of reserves facilities and making them available to their customers. Now, how can you track an exchange's proof of reserves? Well, the simplest and most convenient way is to visit our website, coingecko.com. On the top menu, hover over exchanges and select crypto exchanges from the dropdown. On the exchanges page, look for the column titled reserve data. In this column, you'll see the exchanges reserve data labeled as either available or unavailable. Say we want to view Binance's reserve data. First, we'll click Binance and select the exchange reserves option on the new page. This will bring up the reserve data aggregated from sources, including Nansen and DeFi Llama, as well as the exchanges themselves if it has been published. So head on over to our website and try it yourself. Generally, proof of reserves is a step in the right direction for the crypto industry and is a win-win situation for the users, the custodians, and potentially regulators, especially with the prospect of regulation looming as days go by. With that said, note that Merkle tree based proof of reserve would not prevent the misappropriation of customer funds completely. It only tracks holdings and nothing more since the custodians will still have control over your funds. So this is why, for safety purposes, the use of crypto wallets, especially hardware wallets, is recommended to store the majority of your assets. So watch this video right here to find out the best ones in the market.